Brown Top is known for its antiques, famous pies, and small town Texas charm. Now there's a new spot serving plant forward fare featuring bite blends and a bodega. Tierra Newbaum is in Round Top with more. We're here at Casablanca in Round Top with Casey Massey and nutritious food in Round Top. You can, you know, make your way down for a trip and enjoy a meal with you guys or when you're visiting grab some phenomenal food. This looks so great. What's on the menu? Thank you for coming by and you know checking us out. We're very new and we're very excited to be in Round Top and we'll just kind of go through some of our staple menu items Love and it. some of my most favorite dishes. So to start we've got an avocado toast which we call the Dirty Bird because it. it has a little bit more oomph as it has some organic bacon bits, a soft boiled farm egg. So it gives you a little bit more than just your standard avocado toast. It looks phenomenal. Yes. Gotta try a bite of this one. Go okay. for it. And what's next? Okay, so another one of our staple items is a little bit more of our sweet toast. We've got our savory toast and then our sweet toast, which is an almond butter, banana coins, some delicious local honey, organic almond butter, some bee pollen. It too is a crowd favorite. And also the little the mm. kiddos love our nut butter toast, surprisingly. They're very adventurous. And then our smoothies, of course. So it's really hard to beat our smoothies. Uh, we have three smoothies on the menu right now. And um, one of our most popular smoothies is our Blancberry smoothie. So bananas, blueberries, we have some maca root, which is a superfood, almond butter, a little bit of hemp wow. hearts, and a little bit of local honey as well. It's delicious. It's Perfect almost to wash down the toast. Oh, I know, and it's almost like a meal replacement, so it'll sustain mm, you so for good. a good bit of the day. And then another staple is our greens and green salad. It's delicious. Farro, arugula, our in-house vinaigrette. It too is amazing, obviously. Love it. Yes, 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 yes. And then, okay, I have to have you try this. Okay. So this is our spirulina lemonade, and a lot of times people will come in and they're looking around for the lemonade, and I point them in our grab and go cooler, and they're kind of, you know, so it's sort of a hard <laughs> sell, but once they have it, they love it. So it's spirulina, chia seeds, water, a little bit of maple syrup, and a dash of fresh lemon juice. Wait, how nutritious as well. The I know. Spirulina and the chia seeds. I know. Is. It's delicious. Great source of fiber, omega 3s, antioxidant, anti inflaming. Okay, so what you gotta do, or what I do, is shake it up in between sips so those okay. chia seeds start floating. And then you just sip right out? Yes. And it's super hydrating. It's delicious. Wow. That is fantastic. I know. And it's not too sweet. Not a lot of the fake lemonade kind of flavors sometimes you get. Yes. Okay. And then these are not your average oak. No, they are not. So we are just introducing sort of for our fall winter offerings uh, two new dishes just this week. So mm -hmm. we did a warm quinoa and steel cut oats bowl with fresh berries, a little bit of maple syrup, and some chia seeds on top. This is absolutely delicious. And it's a coconut milk base. No, that's fantastic. It's and really Really yummy. I mean, you, you, we've all had oats a million times, right? That the the uh, sweetness profile of that is phenomenal. Love it. Thank you, thank you. And then another thing, just to keep us warm and you know cozy whenever we get some cool weather, which thankfully we're getting right now, yes. is so lovely, is a butternut squash soup. But it has a brown butter and sage, which really kind of enriches the flavor profile, and it's really delicious. And then we have some seasoned pumpkin seeds on top. And then we're also going to offer uh, some of our in-house sourdough croutons, if folks would like that as well. So we're really excited about these two offerings and the upcoming season at Costa Okay, I love what you've done here. This is all of it's fantastic. I love that we can get nutritious uh, options when passing through, maybe from Austin to Houston, sure. or just coming to visit Round Top for the day. Um, where did you see the need for this here? What, why did you start this? Well, I've lived here for a couple of years now with my husband, okay. and very familiar with all of the fantastic food offerings that there are there. Honestly, there's something for everyone. If you want fine dining, you can go to Royer's and do just classic down-home, really, really good food. But there really wasn't, again, like you said, something that's a little bit more on the nutritious side. And you know, it's all about balance too, right? Totally. Folks can come here and get a smoothie and an avocado toast in the morning. And, and then we're we going to get yeah, fried chicken at Absolutely. Royer's. Absolutely. We can go and <laughs> indulge a little bit. It's all about the balance. But honestly, I just really saw the need for this kind of plant forward fare, really good ingredients, locally sourced when possible, seasonal menu items, and I'm just really passionate about it. So it was very, very exciting to get the opportunity to bring Casablanca to Round Top. And Casey, where did you guys come up with the name Casablanca? 
Casablanca was named after my grandfather, who was James Blanc Simpson. He was my biggest fan, and he always made sure we knew of it, and he would just always support us in everything that we did, so it was just a nice honor to my grandfather. Why are you passionate about you know nourishing food for, for others? So my background is in fitness. I was teaching fitness classes for about 10 years. So it was just sort of this natural progression into being challenged in a different way, but still within that wellness realm. Um, it's a lot of learnings, but it's something I'm really passionate about. And I just feel excited to really invite folks into Casablanca where you feel somehow energized but grounded and inspired um, and then it's really just a sense of community so and it is such a cute space when can people come in so we are open thursdays to sundays from 8 a.m to 2 p.m okay and you can find a link to their website at fox7austin.com